Welcome back. Today we're going to talk about errors and uncertainties. So let's get started. Whenever we measure something, we cannot ever get exactly the precise value. There is always an error. Let's see what I mean. For example, you want to measure the length of this of this line. So you, you place your uh, measuring scale here. So you can see that it's somewhere in between. You might be tempted to say 0 0.95 cm, but it is not practically correct. It can be 0 0.94, it can be 0 0.96. You cannot, uh, you cannot be sure. So there are always uncertainties whenever uh, you measure a certain physical quantity. <clears throat> so for this value, what I can write is 0 0.95, I'm sorry, 0 0.9 plus or minus 0.1 so this means that the accurate value of this line could be between 0 0.8 to 1.0 cm so uncertainty gives a range of values uh, within which the accurate value of the uh, physical quantity lies the first part is the most likely value so it is the most likely value and the second part is is then uncertainty uncertainty so now let's uh, let's talk about percentage uncertainty percentage uncertainty to calculate it we find it some something called fractional uncertainty fractional uncertainty uncertainty fractional uncertainty is basically uncertainty uncertainty divided by mean value mean value we call it mean value so we denote uncertainty by del x and an average value by x so why is it called a mean value it is called a mean value because we know the accurate value of this line lies between 0 0.8 and 1 cm right so the average value of this 0 0.8 and 1 is 0 0.9 right that's why 0 0.9 is known as the mean value or it is the most likely value so fractional uncertainty is del x error in x by x so this part is known as fractional uncertainty and percentage uncertainty is fractional uncertainty so percentage uncertainty is fractional uncertainty times 100 percent or it can be del x by x times 100 percent uncertainties are mostly written in one significant figures one significant figures so what are significant figures so let's see some rules of significant figures rules of significant significant figures all right so let's see so if i have this number three four and six so here are four significant figures. So this number is 24SF. If I have this number 0 0.0231, so this number is to three significant figures. So this number has three significant figures. In starting zeros before a number, they are not significant, only the real digits. I'm not I mean only the only the numbers from one to nine are significant after this after the decimal place. Uh, if I have 0 0.01021, so this number is four significant figures. So the initial zeros they are unsignificant, and the zeros in between the other numbers are significant. So this zero is also significant, and two and one are significant. Let's see further. Uh, <coughs> so this number is to one SF. So ending zeros they are insignificant now let's see other rules uh, if I have 5 0 0 0.02 so this number is to four significant figures the ending zero is in, insignificant but if there's a number after after zeros then then the zeros become significant 
if I have 5 0 0.0200 0, 0, 0, this number has six significant figures so here the ending zeros are insignificant but the ending zeros after the decimal are significant so these two zeros are significant so this number is has six significant figures now let's move further let's talk about uh, uncertainty in calculation for example let's say you measured the length of this line and you got a value maybe 1.4 cm and you had an error of 0 0.1 so a so the length of a is 1.4 plus or minus 0 0.1 cm so let's say you have an, another line and you got the value b equals 2.1 plus minus 0 0.1 cm so let's say uh, you want to combine these two lines and find the length of this whole line the whole line will be basically x equals a plus b so it will be 1.4 plus 2.1 which would give me 3.5 centimeters but what is the uncertainty so basically if you th if you think about our if you think about our previous example so 0 0.9 plus minus 0 0.1 what it means is that the real value the real value lies in the range 0 0.8 to 1.0 right so to calculate so this is the minimum so this is the sorry this is the maximum value of x and it's the minimum value of the of this line x max minus sorry so you can see here i can calculate this error by subtracting the minimum value of x from the maximum value of x and dividing it by 2 so this becomes a kind of rule, a kind of formula to determine the uncertainty minimum maximum value minus minimum value divided by 2 here 1.0 minus 0.8 divided by 2 would give me 0.1 which is the uncertainty in our, in our value right sorry here so it is one way to find the uncertainty but the, the other way to find uncertainty can be del x equals x max minus x min or x average let's see what i mean x max is 1.0 right x min is 0 0.9 so it will give me 0 0.1 right so i can also use this rule to determine the uncertainty in x so both of these rules are valid so let's see now i need to find uncertainty in x so uncertainty in x is x max minus x average so this value here is x average right because average value of a plus average value of b would give me this so x max what is x max so so here the highest value of a can be a plus del a here the highest value of b can be b plus del b so x max would be a plus del a plus b plus del b and x min is a plus b right and if you worked work out then a cancel b cancel then i get del a plus del v so so you can see that whenever uh, whenever the values are added the errors they also get added so we get a new rule so here x is this and del x will be the adding the errors 0 0.1 plus 0 0.1 which would give me 0 0.2 therefore x is plus minus 0 0.2 always write the uncertainty first to one significant and round up to the same decimal place 3.5 this is my correct answer <coughs> so let's see what if you want to find x equals a minus b what if you want to determine by how much this line is longer than this line so you need to determine a minus b so the x average will be basically so let's see let's think about b minus a because b is greater 2.1 minus 1.4 which would give me 0 0.7 so let's let's try to find x max 
what can be the maximum value of x so x can be maximum when b is maximum and a is minimum so we, when b is maximum and a is minimum i can get the maximum value of x right so let's see b is maximum when b is b plus till b right and a is minimum of when a the minimum value of a is a minus till a the minimum value of b is b plus till b if i work out i get b minus a plus till b and that minus minus plus till a now i need to find the error in x error in x is x max minus x average or x mean right x max is this thing b minus a plus till b plus till a x average is b minus a now if you work out the algebra b b cancel a cancel then i get till b plus till a so you can see that whenever there is subtraction the errors they also get added so no matter the operation whether it is whether is it uh, addition or subtraction the errors they get added now let's look on multiplication what happens in multiplication let's say x equals a plus a dot b and a has uncertainty del a b has uncertainty del b i need to find del x so what i know is del x equals x max minus x min by 2 right now let's find out x max is basically x is basically multiplication of a and b x max is when a is max b is max you can get x max a is max when a plus del a and b is max when b plus del b x min is when a is minimum a minus del a and x min is when b is minimum b minus del b divided by 2 let's see so if i work out then i get And if you see here, so this this term is in minus. So if I if I work out, then it becomes minus a b. They cancel each other. <coughs> From here, so let's say plus a dot del a dot b minus minus plus del a dot b. I get two del a dot b. And so the, from this term and this term, I get this thing. And a dot del b and here minus minus plus a dot del b. I get two a dot del b. And here it is plus del a dot del b. Here minus 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 plus minus. You can cancel them out. Divide by two. Then I get del x equals del a dot b plus a dot del b. Now what I do is multiply numerator and denominator by a b, right? Then what do I get? <coughs> so del x equals so from your algebra, if it is a plus b by c, it will be a by c plus b by c, right? So let's, let's what do I get? I will get del a dot b by a dot b plus a dot del b by a dot b, and this thing is multiplied by a b. And we know uh, a b is our x. So this thing a b is our x. So if I bring this x a b to this side, I'll get del x by x equals <coughs> B B cancel del A by A plus from here del B by B. So you can see that here's our relation. So del A by A is our fractional uncertainty in A, del B by B is fractional uncertainty in B, del X by X are fractional uncertainty in X. So if I multiply them by 100%, so you can see that percentage uncertainties, percentage answer uncertainties add up, <coughs> add up. So the percentage uncertainties they get they get added up whether uh, it is a multiplication or if it is a division you can try out for division this way and find it's the same result now let's move further so here's a question we are given time t this thing and uncertainty length this value and uncertainty i need to calculate the percentage uncertainty in t and l so let's calculate the percentage uncertainty in T and L. For part I, percentage uncertainty, I'm going to write percentage here. 
in t equals del t by t times 100 percent which would be uh, 0 0.03 by 1.93 times 100 percent it would give me 3.2 percent and it is recommended to write uh, the percentage uncertainty to two significant figures and percentage uncertainty in L length L equals del L by L into 100 percent I'm going to write 1 by 92 into 100 percent which would give me would give me now <coughs> part i is done let's move to part i there's a relationship i need access to calculate the percentage uncertainty in g hmm. now we have this relation thus now whenever there is multiplication or division or uh, percentage uncertainties they get added up or there's a release in fractional uncertainties right so if x equals a dot b then we know del x by x equals delay by a plus del b by b what if x equals a dot a or a dot a means x equals a square right x equals a square so here del x by x would be would be delay by a plus delay by a and from here that's class also from x delay by a it will be 2 dot delay by a so you can so you can see that if x equals a square you get this result right if x equals a squared you get this result the two the, num the number the exponent comes in the form of so if x equals the contrary it means that a to the power 1 by 2 then i would have relation del x by x equals half of delay by a right now let's let's look at this relation <coughs> i need to calculate percentage uncertainty in g so for the the numbers they do not have uncertainty pi is also a number it doesn't have uncertainty here l l is a variable so the constants they don't have uncertainties the variable there is uncertainty so length we know the percentage uncertainty length is 1.1 percent and there's a time is squared so basically there is t dot t right so percentage uncertainty in g is percentage uncertainty in l plus two times percentage uncertainty in t or you can see the relation del z by z equals del l by l plus two times del t by t so percentage uncertainty in l is 1.1 percent plus two times 3.2 7.5 percent now let's move on so in part 3 when z is calculated uh, we get 9.751 and they ask us to state the uncertainty state z with uncertainty to correct number of significant figures so we know the percentage uncertainty in g is 75 percent right now let's determine the uh, let's determine the absolute uncertainty so we know percentage uncertainty would be del z by z into 100 percent right from here i can work out del z equals 7.5 times the percentage uncertainty which is so sorry percentage uncertainty is 7.5 so del z would be 7.5 times z which is 9.751 divided by 100 and the percent percent they cancel each other so i get the value 7.5 into 9.751 divided by 100 I would get something like 0 0.0.731325 but we know that we need to write the uncertainty to one significant figure so the absolute uncertainty is 0 0.7 therefore to express z first always write the uncertainty so uncertainty is 0 0.7 so we have to round round off our answer z to first decimal place which would give me 9.7 this is the correct solution hope you enjoyed the video video uh, we'll continue our chapter and measurement in the next video thank you for watching